This is how to make a simple DIY camera a jib boom using a paint roller extension pole with a few extras. Firstly take the roller and cut off the handle leaving a 40mm spike at the end. Simply take the extension pole, which is the, the main part of the jib, and slip the handle and spike over the end as you would if it was a normal roller. I used um, four pipe hangers, but you could use any other thing. These just are stops really for the camera mount and the weight. They go onto the um, piece of wood that I cut. The four of them. That's a uh, old handlebar camera mount that I had. I've taken the rubber lining out and that's just a weight to balance the, the end piece or the head that has the camera on it. An old broomstick cut about 12 inches long um, with a hole through it to match the pin uh, on the spike of the brush roller. Just, just slipping that on there. Just out of the shot, unfortunately, but uh, you'll see it in a minute. And that just fits tidily, tidily on there. And then put one of the stops right on. This is the stop for the camera mount, which swivels on the pole. Just need to get a screwdriver to tighten that up. Um, it's all very straightforward. It took about 15 to 20 minutes to make the thing in total. And these just um, tighten up with a couple of screws that go through them. It's the camera mount that's free to, to spin. And then another stop to prevent it from falling off the end. Just get enough space between them to allow the camera to, to pivot. On the other end, just put another stop there. Then the counterbalance weight. And another stop just to hold it in position. You could use anything there. I just had those items. Just the idea came to me this morning, just to make a little camera boom. Very simple one that I can take away in my canoe or something, so it's not sophisticated, but it does the job. I use a couple of these small Kodak type camcorders. This type generally would fit. It's just anything that you can hang um, by screwing into the base of it. Your image is upside down, but you just turn it round when you're photo editing. It's, it's pretty straightforward. You'll see when I show you at the end. And essentially that's it with the adjustable head on the extension pole. camera just maintains its its um, position because of its own weight and the fact that it swings. There you can see a little close-up of the the assembly at the head. I mean I've not even fixed the uh, wooden part on with anything other than putting it through the spike. You could tap that and put a nut on the end or just put something on to hold it in place. But it's all fairly solid. It's the camera swivel. Now I'll actually uh, put this stuff aside and um, show you actually how simple and easy it is to use. You don't get the same sophistication but this is something that you can just pack away with you without any problem. And these were old components I had in the garage. You could still use the paint roller extension pole. Um, the only thing I've really um, 
cut is the anonged paint roller. I just put the hand off the camera up out the way the strap. See how the camera holds itself. Um, it's wobbly there, that's just because I'm getting into position. It holds itself um, horizontal. And just a bit of practice. You can sweep round at low level. Follow the line of something uh, vertically upwards. A lot of it w is actually in the technique of using it. I mean, I just made it, say, half an hour ago, um, and this is just a, a really a prototype, but there's nothing actually wrong with it. I'm always looking for different ways to vary the shots when, when I use my camera, so this was just something that's fairly straightforward. Now switch it off and um, take the material and run it together and that's just what you'll see next. Together